In this video, I would like to explain why clip skimming is so useful and if you don't know about it, why you need to. Okay, so we have a full timeline here. It's quite large at 11 minutes and just say you want to go through it. Um, we're clicking like this, maybe find a scene that we want to find and you can see it's just so like slow when we're clicking and it just takes forever to find the point that we're looking for. But this is where the magic of skimming comes in. You press S on the keyboard, then you see this yellow and red line. And you can see as you move your mouse or your trackpad along, you can just skim your timeline. And providing your computer's fast enough for keeping up, then you know you can see your, your clips and your frames pretty much instantly. And you can find the parts that you're looking for. Maybe you want to edit or readjust a certain part. And when you're done with clip skimming, when you feel like, you know, because you don't want to stay in this mode, so press S again, basically. Then you go back to this, this method, which is definitely the preferred method to stay in by default. But just like I said, keep in mind, press S when you want a quick skim to go from one side of the timeline to other and to look for things. It's so, so useful. It's amazing to know about. And uh, if you didn't know about it before, I'm really happy that you do now. So thanks for listening and please consider subscribing and hitting the like button to help this channel grow on YouTube. I will see you in more videos soon. Peace.